This is the case of a three-year-old male with chronic otitis media who, at the time that a tube was being placed, was found to have a pearly white mass behind an intact eardrum in the anterior superior quadrant. So that's a classic for congenital cholesteatoma. Since it's hard to see through the speculum sometimes, here's what you can picture in your mind's eye. We have a right ear, and the cholesteatoma is located primarily in the anterior superior quadrant, but it does extend wrapping behind the malleus and into a little bit more of the posterior mesotympanum as well. A green tube is in the anterior inferior quadrant, abutting the very inferior anterior aspect of the cholesteatoma. We start by making a four quadrant injection in the ear canal before removing the tube. Examining the ear, you can see the cholesteatoma cyst in the anterior superior quadrant. In this view, you cannot see the manubrium. We're looking anterior to the malleus at this point. We start by making an incision in the tympanic membrane along the anterior border of the cholesteatoma cyst and then dissecting it away with blunt instruments like a crab tree or a gimmick. When dissecting any cholesteatoma, especially a congenital cholesteatoma, it's ideal to keep the cyst wall intact. This helps prevent leaving any skin behind and thus helps prevent recidivism of the cholesteatoma. We then repeat the same procedure of incising the tympanic membrane and bluntly dissecting the cyst wall along the posterior margin of the cholesteatoma. At this point, we've done pretty much all we can through the ear canal, so we flip the ear forward, make a posterior incision, and raise a tympanometal flap. So now you're looking in the ear canal from behind the ear from a posterior approach with the tympanometal flap raised. Now we can work from a combination of behind and front of the eardrum, and the posterior approach allows us a more anterior view of this very anterior cholesteatoma. Now we can scrape along the bone deep to the cholesteatoma to ensure there's no remaining attachments of the skin to the middle ear mucosa, and we can roll the cholesteatoma cyst inferiorly and then anteriorly to pull it right out. For reconstruction, we placed a temporalis fascia graft, which we harvested when we were doing the posterior approach, and place it as a medial or underlay graft behind the residual TM and malleus, and then laid the tympanometal flap back down. We then packed loosely with gel foam and flipped the ear back. We had to make sure that our vascular strip was totally unfurled because no one wants an iatrogenic canal cholesteatoma when they're removing a congenital cholesteatoma, and then packed with more gel foam.